بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد اتقوا فراسة المؤمن فإنه ينظر بنور الله Beware, be weary, be aware of the vision of a believer. So Iman comes with a nur, which is the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A believer sees with the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he prepares accordingly. Ulama have stated that uh, firasat is uh, of three types. Allama ibn Qayyim in his Tariq Salikin has mentioned also some ibarat and detail. The first type is the Imani Firasat and Vision and that which Allah subhanahu wa instilled in the heart of a believer where he can differentiate between Haqq and Batil, truth and lies uh, and um, where he has this vision where uh, he can discern So I have written for man kaina aqwa iman fawa ahaddu Firasat and the stronger the Iman, the more sharper his firasa will be. So it is said about Shah al-Kirmani that he was a, 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 a great visionary. He had great firasat and he used to say Man, uh, amongst the asbab and means of, 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 of getting this firasat is Man ghadda basaro anil maharim protecting your gaze wa amsaka nafsa wa anil shahawat Controlling your nerves and desires from shahwa, ambition, just breaking Allah's commands, etc. وَأَمَّرَ بَاطِنَهُ بِالْمُرَاقَبَةِ And internally he has got contemplation of the greatness of Allah. So internally, the diyan and awareness of Allah. وَظَاهِرُوا بِإِتِبَاءِ السُنَّةِ Externally you can see sunnah in his life. He refrains from eating haram. Then he said, his vision will not err. So Abdullah ibn Masood used to say that Afras and Nas Thalath, the most visionary people were three Al Aziz fi Yusuf with regards to uh, Yusuf alayhi salam when it was said that Akrimi Mathwahu when he told his wife that uh, honor his place possible that he may uh, benefit us or we will make him a son. So the Aziz gave this instruction, he had the vision وَإِبْنَةُ الشُعَيْبِ and the daughter of Shu'ib salam where she told her father with regards to Musa salam that employ him in خَيْرَ مَنِ اسْتَأْجَرْتَ الْقَوِيُّ الْأَمِينَ The best person to employ is a person who is strong, who is trustworthy and uh, Abu Bakr رضي الله عنه when he was made Khalifa so likewise when uh, the different fitan that happened after Nabi alayhi salatu was salam passed away etc. And in other narration wa imratu Firaun, the, the wife of Firaun, where the baby was brought and she said that uh, do not kill him, coolness to our eyes, asa ayyan fa'ana Possibly he will benefit us. أو نتخذه ولدا will make him a son. So the Maif said amongst the, in this ummah the greatest of the people of vision was Abu Bakr رضي الله عنه and then Umar رضي الله عنه. So uh, Allah explains this فراسة وجعلنا له نورا يمشي به. Allah puts a, a nur which which he 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 survives. The second one is uh, the Firasa Ariyadiyya where ulama explain when a person makes sacrifice whether they stay hungry, whether they stay awake at night, whether they go into the mountains and this is for a believer in a kafir as well according to the riyadah and sacrifice a person uh, makes then uh, they, they, the, that f certain things will open up on them and the third type of uh, firasa and vision is uh, where a person strives in a certain field and uh, in that field Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens up that field. So researchers, scientists, doctors, whoever it is, in every field 
there's no specific uh, criteria so this vision so when a believer has vision also he knows how to prepare accordingly so simple things let's say um, it's raining a lot there's warning signs of a flood there's warning signs of a tsunami etc so amongst the, the prepping rules is to switch down all your switches your electric switches because it's possibility of, of getting shocked so a person may not die la ilaha illallah of the flood but uh, the, the cables may get loose a person may shock uh, what is a conductor of electricity another simple thing of uh, being M ambidextrous so ambidexterity this is just basically the ability where a person can use both the left and right hand as well equally so uh, Again, when a person is trained and a person is taught to be trained in the sportsman, this is this is a great trait among people, a sportsman, etc. Where when they have the, this quality, yeah. So researchers say that probably one percent of the world uh, have this uh, natural ambidextrous nature. So again, prepping. So a person is brushing the teeth every day uh, with the miswak with the right hand, which is sunnah as well. So. If a person makes a near the I want to make skill, put skill in my left hand as well, so I can I can use it for your deen, preserve your deen, protect my life, protect my family, and they will get reward, inshallah. So again, training, a skill, the mindset, the intention. So likewise, a, a person personally, what do you need to keep on us? So if we go on the basic things, there are many fancy gadgets that are out there, but what is practical, what is realistic? So rule number one is first go to the expert. Secondly is that uh, create a skill. So so we buy a lot of things, but we don't have the skill, the art of utilizing it. We haven't tested it. So and uh, the the situation which a person is maybe be alone. Uh, it's critical. And how how can you access that that item to protect your life? You've got literally three seconds. Some say five seconds. Say worst case ten seconds. The person is going to go look for it, not find it, etc. So how easy, how accessible it, it is in your bag. You have to open the zip. Then you got ten compartments, and each compartment you got other things. What if your bag gets stolen? Then what happens? So a person needs to be be be, be trained uh, to protect their life and their family also. Likewise, when a person is faced with a the situation, they will not think normal. So shock will kick in. A person may, may not know or realize what to do. Fear will paralyze a person and, and overflow of adrenaline will make a person flee, etc. So what to do in that situation? You can have the best of all accessories, but uh, that's marginal compared to being trained. So you physically, how have you trained yourself, trained your mind? So uh, after tools comes training, which is very important. So a simple ring gadgets that, that we have nowadays. So there's two gadgets which are reliant on electricity, etc. Like a stun gun, where you can stun a person and you get different high voltages and you can do it at a certain range. So, uh, but plan for items without any, uh, because sometimes you keep it in your bag, you don't charge it, etc. When the time is needed, uh, it's, it's of no benefit. Uh, a self-defense siren, for example. So... For women who cannot scream loud, there is a situation connected to your bag. If somebody snatches your bag, automatically it will kick in. So different gadgets are out there. But uh, we need to see what's realistic and practical. People go on holiday. They go to other places. It's not so secure. So you put yourself in a compromise. So a portable door lock where no matter how weak the doors are, nobody can enter, for example. So this thought process needs to go into this year as well. So we find that uh, Nabi Ali Salatu Wasalam had a stick, Ambiya Ali Musalam had a stick. So it's sunnah to carry a, a, a cane, a walking stick. Um, you get sticks that have swords in them, they have knives in them, they they they, they tactical, um, they can be converted. Uh, a simple umbrella that can be converted uh, as a protection, as a means. So when a person is carrying this, Sahaba walked with swords. We cannot carry swords, but with the intention, whatever weapon is available, whether it's a knife, uh, even a walking stick, uh, it's all based on our intention, what we intend for. Then a kubotan, 
which is uh, a, a self-defense keychain that was inv invented in, in, in the 60s. And basically, it's, it's, it's a type of a, a stick. But uh, um, police use it, whether they use batons, whether they use sticks, whether these ones, which the latest ones, which which are sharp edge, etc. They are tapered on the ends. Um, a person must see what's 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 practical, what he can carry on himself, and where he can access it as well. So, uh, which places, if I'm going to use it, people are vulnerable. So, a tactical flashlight. So we need all the time people use their cell phones. Uh, is it practical? Are you putting yourself at risk? But a tactical flashlight has got edges. So the high intensity light, the the durable metal at the end, you will see it's like a bezel where a person can, if you use it as like a baton, as a stick, and it causes serious damage. So a person can use it to the, to eliminate when you go in into areas you can't see uh, you can't know in the distance what people are planning plotting so it exposes them as well as it can on, on, on the high intensity at least 100 lumens plus we need to go where you can blind the attacker so it's got dual purpose so look for for items which have multi-purpose where it can be used for self-defense and then uh, a pocket knife. So to get your knife is sooner as well. So a pocket knife, um, there's different types of blades, different types of qualities, uh, different types of, of grids where you get, but something that's practical, something that's realistic, something that you won't keep as a showpiece as well. If you need to use it, use it um, for normal things. You want to cut fruit, you want to uh, open a box, uh, something not too expensive as well, you're worried about it. So you'll use it, uh, you need to replace it, replace it. You need to sharpen it, sharpen it as well. Many people don't have the art of, of, of sharpening systems also. So so get uh, this different type of, of, of sharpeners, whether it's the diamond impregnated ones, whether it's uh, the sharpening systems where you have the right angle, the type of, uh, where you can, don't damage the knife and, and it is sharp as well. So many people don't sharpen their knives and they just replace knives as well, which is a bad habit. Then, for example, a tactical pen. So a tactical pen is quite simple, quite easy, accessible. Um, use it as a pen. It can be used as a, a, a self-defense tool. And uh, if a person is in a situation, they need to uh, escape from a vehicle, break the glass, you're in a situation, uh, you need to get out of a building, uh, it comes in handy. So uh, a tactical pen is quite good. It's 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 there's some tactical pens that come with other gadgets on it. So it's got a knife inside. It's got a stylus pen. So each person must see customize themselves and and start doing training. We need to train in this as well. So um, in the olden days there was just those uh, brass knuckle gadgets which you'd carry. Uh, too big, too bulky, you're not going to get in a fight. You don't want to fight with people. So that that's not something that... that uh, but each person must know what's their skill and, 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 and where they can use it. A, a, a tactical ring, for example. So will it be beneficial? Are you going to use it? Do you know how to punch? If you punch, are you going to damage your knuckles? Um, so it's important. A, a, a for our children, for example, if they're going out, they should have a tracking watch. So at least there's a uh, you can track their movements. You can you can access their speech when they are talking. There's a panic button. You can access the location. You can drill them in a situation what to do, what button to press in the vehicle that they're going. You know, normally okay, they would remove uh, A, B, C, and they're going to take it to point B. So if they can take out the watch. Is it ideal and hide it somewhere in the vehicle if there's a position? Somebody is kidnapped, they put in a boot, what do you do? Um, somebody picks up the child and tells the child, your parents sent me to, to, to fetch you. Uh, is there a code word you've taught in your child? There's, there's tracking rings that you get where you can send a panic, etc. So the tracking devices nowadays are quite advanced, but they can last 30, 45 days as well. So when a person perceives danger, you drive in a vehicle, police stop you, press the panic button, put the track on, be weary, the normal protocols when traveling on the road, even if it's a policeman. Um, fake blue lights, 
So we have to be very cautious. Then a person gets into a fight, but uh, you don't know that your pers a person you are fighting with could be could could lead a risk to your life because of the exchange of fluids. So we're going to beat them up. There's a bloodbath, but they've got HIV, they've got AIDS, they've got hepatitis. Um, so so that that can be transmitted. La ilaha illallah. What's a very good tool is pepper spray. So. Um, that can it can be used for whether it's uh, crowd control, self defense, to to subdue uh, in a situation. So chili peppers, which is which is put into it, and uh, it can cause temporary blindness, serious pain, irritation, and uh, sometimes we don't need to disarm a person where we use serious uh, restrainment. This just needs to be this person needs to be restrained and calmed. So any other gadget is going to physically damage a person, possible lawsuits, etc. Uh, a lot of year, months, years of court cases, etc. So pepper spray, quite simple, quite easy. And uh, a person, when he's incapacitated with pepper spray, he cannot uh, escape because it affects the mucous membranes. It, it goes, causes the eyes, the nose, the throat, the lungs to swell. And eventually even person starts coughing, swelling, he can't breathe. And depending on what uh, damage the spray done, but from 20 minutes to around 90 minutes, a person is uh, incapacitated. So um, pepper spray is quite important. You get it in keychains, you get it added into some gadgets, etc. But we have to be very cautious of, of the wind direction, the backfire, um, aiming as well, what type do you have, so whether it's uh, what strength, of spray, the pepper that is there, the stream, whether it's it's, it's a direct stream, whether it's a fog, um, etc. So, so we need to test these sprays out as well. So different gadgets which we can carry on ourselves. Um, important rule is that uh, we ourselves, for example, somebody goes to the beach as well. Um, there's very strong currents. So do you have uh, a floater, do you have a long rope? Sometimes a person goes in the water, you go to save them, you get caught in the current. Now two people's lives at risk, somebody else comes, three people. So we're not expert swimmers, swimmers we never learned the art and the skill of, of taking a person out of the water. We ourselves cannot swim out of the water. How are you going to save somebody else? How, how much skill do we have? People who go in a swimming pool play in the water. They don't swim. They don't learn the art of swimming. So to do 20, 30 laps, etc. So all these gadgets are important, la ilaha illallah, like we said with the amal side as well, but we should never caught, get caught up. Like the story goes, there was once an a Englishman, a, a American and an Indian, and they were to face a firing squad. So the Englishman was first to be lined up against uh, the firing line, the wall, the soldiers raised their rifles, took aim, and then he shouted, avalanche, avalanche. So instinctively, the, the soldiers turned around to look. So he was pointed in that direction. They looked, they realized it was a hoax. When they turned back, he had escaped. He had escaped. So the American then prepared to meet his doom, his firing line. The soldiers raised their rifles, took aim, and he shouted, flood, flood, and he pointed in that direction. The soldiers turned around to see what was the problem. By the time they realized it was a hoax, he had escaped. Now it was a turn for the Indian. So he was impressed by the strategy of his colleagues and how, how cunning they were. So he said, I'll come over the same diversion as well. Soldiers raised their rifles, took aim, and he screamed, fire, fire. And they fired their rifles. So sometimes planning appropriately with the, the right methodology, with the right skill is important. And that's why we need to go to the experts and, and we need to take time out. We need to take time out. The amal for today is to spend time with the ulama, to learn deen, to, 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 to prepare for akhirat. أَشَدُّ عَلَى الشَّيْطَانِ مِنْ أَلْفِ عَبِدْ When Judas is more severe to shaitan than uh, a thousand worshippers. So a scholar in Alim Al Al Abid Sabuna Daraja, 70 stages of superiority between each stage is like a horse running for 70 years. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhir da'wana. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.